if you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans That's to good. teach you the Bible, all right? I'm Officer Uriel. Give me the book of Leviticus 5 and 1. So, as y'all all just heard, we're out here to advise the commandments of the Most High God. Right. right. Right? So, it's a lot of rules in our community, such as no snitching. Don't tell if somebody get hurt. We're here to bring out the truth. We're here to teach the correct understanding of the Bible. So this is what God says, not what man says. God says about no snitching. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 5 and verse 1. Read it out. And if a soul sin and heard the voice of swearing and is a witness, whether he has seen or known of it, if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. So you're going to bear the iniquity for sinning or watching somebody sinning or watching your neighbor do evil and not speaking the truth of God. Right. All right. So today is the Sabbath day. It is a sin to buy, to sell, to work on the Sabbath day. Right. Right. But don't take my words from it. Take the Lord's word. You got answer this 28? Yes, sir. Re bring it out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Yeah. Remember the seventh day. Remember. Why do we have to remember? Because we forgot. Right. We're out here bound right now. Right. Right. This is what God said. Right. No buying, no selling right. on the Sabbath day. Right. Right. What Bible are you reading? This is the King James Version. The Bible. King James Version. Right. The King James Version of the Bible. That's in your hues in your churches. That your pastor ain't tell you about, right? Bring it out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Read. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. To keep it holy. To keep it separate. It's not like the six other days. It's separate. Right. It's different, right? Read on. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Six days shall you labor. Right. Six days shall you work, buy, sell, and handle your business. But on the Sabbath day, but the seventh day, it but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son. Nor thy daughter, thy manservant, thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. So we read about that in Genesis. Everybody loves a good creation story in the beginning of the Bible. Right. We follow after the Most High God. Right. So he rested after six days of work. Mm -hmm. And on the seventh day, he, the Sabbath day, he stopped all his work. So we being his children should not work, buy, or sell, right. right, on the Sabbath day. These are the Ten Commandments that everybody loves to hear. Because one thing that everybody loves to bring out is that you got to keep the Ten Commandments. You got to keep the Ten Commandments. So we're reading about the Ten Commandments, and the Sabbath day is in that, right. Right? right? The law of the day of the Sabbath is in that, right? So give me Matthew 5 and 17, because I said something, right? Ten Commandments, that's where everybody stop at. A lot of us not even keeping the ten. Not even keeping the ten. Right? Teach. But it's six hundred and something laws you gotta keep to be holy, to be separate, to be different from this world. Right. Right? And a lot of people will argue that Christ did away with that. But let's hear it from the Lord himself. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Bring it out. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So hold fast. Christ said, think not that I've come to destroy the law. Because these laws are still in effect. Right. The prophets being the Old Testament, right? The books of Moses, the first five books of the Bible. Right. You have to keep the commandments of God. And that's where we find the so-called Ten Commandments. Right. Right? right? That everybody loves, everybody say they know. Right? So give me, give, give me uh, Exodus 16, 23. Because there's a lot of cooking as well going on, right? It's a lot of a lot of sin going on. And we can't do nothing but fix this. This is how we fix the black community. This is how we stop single mother households, single fathers, broken homes. This is how we started. We come back to the roots of the Bible. Right. That's right. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. Bring it out. And he said it to them, 
This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Seven. So this would be Friday, right? So Friday night, you're getting ready to prepare, right? Go on. Unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. So you would prep everything before the Sabbath. That goes for everybody who said, what do I eat on the Sabbath? I got to cook. I got to warm something up. Lord, no, the Lord said prep the day before. Right. Prep the day before. Do your buying before the Sabbath comes. You have no excuse, right? Read. Bake that which you will bake today, and see ye will see, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So whatever you cook, whatever you prep, whatever you board, whatever you bake, you will have it for today. Right. You would have made it yesterday or earlier in the week for today, right? right? Because the Sabbath is a holy day. We came out, we opened up with that. The Sabbath is holy and different. It's separate from the rest. Right. You got to do the will of your father or you're just the devil. The devil the Bible speaks of. Give me Matthew 24, all praises. Because this is what exactly what's happening. We out here bringing warning from the Lord, telling our people what's going to happen. All praises. What destruction is going to befall you. This is that pleading right now. This is that get yourself right, please, before the Lord comes. Right. Before that surefire destruction comes. Right. right. Right? Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 37. Bring it out. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So in the last days, in the last days, the sun, the, it will be like how it was in Noah. Everybody sitting here buying, selling on the Sabbath, not a care in the world. We at the beach. Yay, we having a good time, right? But the prophets are out here. The word of God is going out. Right. And nobody cares. But when that destruction comes, it's going to be a great national team. Read right. on. Verse, 20, verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Hold on, hold on. So in the days before the flood, and it says those days are like today. So the days before that surefire destruction, everybody was eating, having a good time, getting married, getting ready to do whatever they would do, whatever type of sin, whatever they lust was, they were, they were doing before right. the surefire destruction came. Right. Bring it out. Marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until that destruction happens when the Son of Man comes back. Go on. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away and killed all of them and killed all of them except for Noah. Read on. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. So somebody going to be saved. One man is going to be saved for keeping the commandments of God. The other man who was partying, who was reveling, who was enjoying his life in these last days before the Son of Man came back to correct this, right? He's going to be left. Read. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour of your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what which the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Let's bring that back. So let's get let's let's understand what's being said here. Keep the commandments to die. Right. And a lot of us, if we knew that God would come tomorrow, we, oh, let's get right. Let's try to keep the commandments. Let's try to keep the Sabbath. Let's try to make sure we have fringes on. Let's try to keep the commandments of the old. Right. A lot of that other stuff about we can't keep all the commandments of the Most High God would be out the door. Right. Right. You would do your best to keep the commandments. But because you don't care and it's the days of no, we still buying, we still selling, we still out here dying. And this is why the black community, the Hispanic community, the Native American community falls into surefire destruction right. because sin, because iniquity has gone abound, right. right? Let's go back to the commandments. Now we, give me Nehemiah 10.31. Give me Nehemiah 10.31. Cause I said it's no, it's no, cook, no buying, no selling, no cooking, right? And we gonna go through these commandments cause everybody loves the 10 commandments. So the Sabbath is one of us. So let's break down the Sabbath. All praise to the most high God it is the Sabbath. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring well or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So they bring food, clothing, any items to sell. Any items to sell on the Sabbath day. Read on. That we will not buy it of them 
or the seventh, we, the children of Israel, God's chosen, God's elect, would not buy it. Right. Right. Would not buy it because our father told us no buying, That's no right. selling, no working on the Sabbath day. Right. Or on the holy day that we will leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. The Bible just told you again. No buying, no selling, no working. We hit the Ten Commandments. We talked about the destruction. <clears throat> we can't come together. The black community, the Hispanic community, Native American community cannot be fixed. Right. Unless we get the basis. How can I sit here and dwell with my brother and he's a pedophile? That's How right. can I dwell with my sister and she's selling drugs or selling herself or prostituting herself? Right. How can I deal with a talebearer? How can I handle these evil thoughts within myself unless I come back to the Bible and deal with like minded men right. and women according right. to the Bible? Right. Read Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 3. Right now. now, six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. A holy convocation. So it's a holy convocation. A holy gathering. Right. Hey, my brother, come over here. We teach him about the Bible. We teach it in the King James Bible. Hey, look, tomorrow is Sunday. Come here and get this before you go uh, celebrate. Those, give me Colossians too. Before you deal with those heathens tomorrow. Right. Before you deal in those other customs tomorrow. Right. Learn your heritage. That's right. Learn your heritage, bro heritage, brothers and sisters. This is for you. These commandments of the Most High God are for you. Don't be stuck here when Christ comes back. That's right. Don't be stuck in the middle, am I going to make it or am I going to die? Right. Oh, don't be stuck in the rapture because the rapture isn't real. Right. It's right. not real. That's what you're going to learn about tomorrow. Some garbage, right. some paganistic garbage. Read. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it out. Be well, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That vain deceit. All these pagan holidays, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, what else we got? We Christmas, got uh, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day. We got all these pagan holidays, Memorial Day. Memo that's none of that's in the Bible. None of that deals with the Bible. Right. That's just to throw you brothers and sisters off. What y'all right. celebrating right now? Nothing. Right. Nothing but surefire destruction. What is nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.